if you take these types of interactions and then apply them to real life and they look funny, then they're not Bingo. right in streaming environments either. Yes. <laughs> like, I'm going to give, like, a, a very basic example. Um, and I, I know that people, like, I know their intentions are fine. It's mm-hmm. not like they're they're trying to, like push boundaries necessarily and i i know that kids they just um i've even yes. given like etiquette lessons on my discord before because some kids their their brains are literally not fully developed yet so they just don't they just don't know yet they're not socially aware enough mm-hmm. so uh one example that i get rather frequently because i wear my crazy outfits and i like rainbows and stuff people will join my streams and say are you lgbtq and at its surface level, that is a, you know, it's a it's a rather benign question. Um, it can be. It can also not be because that's kind of a, some people, it can be dangerous for them to talk about that. And, mm. and you know, it got me thinking about how would you go up to a stranger and ask them if they're LGBTQ? I think that's a very, frankly, inappropriate question. I think it's, it's one of those things where I would never go up to someone and be like, are you gay? Are you mm. a lesbian? It's just, it's very personal for someone that you just met. It's something that maybe after a little while of conversation, you might decide to broach that subject in a, in a, you know, in a way that gives them opportunity to answer the question if they're comfortable. I think everybody is entitled to their private romantic endeavors. Now, I'm pretty public about the fact that I have a boyfriend. Um, so, you know, I bring up that thing and I, I feel like the LGBTQ question is a little bit more personal than like, are you single? But I also feel like that can be a tricky question because it's a little bit, um, well, I'll say it's a little bit rude. Are you single? Because I'm here putting (laughs) on a show. I'm not here looking for a partner right now. I'm not here looking to uh, find a romantic entanglement with someone in my chat. So um, it's another thing where honestly, like as a woman, um, but I think honestly across the board, as a woman, when people ask me that publicly, um, there are scenarios where it's appropriate, where maybe like it's at a bar and I'm like hanging out and stuff. And Mm -hmm. then there are other scenarios where I can actually feel a bit threatened where I'm on the train and someone asks me, are you single? It's like, whoa, I'm kind of a captive audience right now. Um, So so I, I think that anytime... Yeah, people people can like unintentionally overstep boundaries that um I, I say anytime I, I'm I'm made to feel uncomfortable or on the spot, I don't like it. <laughs> I, I don't like it. And I've I've started calling it out more. And I try to do it in a in a loving and you know, kind way, but other times maybe I've had a bad day and I could snap back a bit. <laughs> I just I just find, you know, anytime somebody does something that you would never do in real life Mm. um that you're crossing a line like you might compliment uh my hat and you might do that in real life that's okay uh but if you say like i don't like your shirt it's like would you say that in real life would you have the balls to go up to someone and say i don't like your shirt like anything i think it's really truly a parody between If you wouldn't say it in real life, then don't say it in the comments of someone's video. Don't say it on a live stream. Uh, Just, and it can be a nice or a not nice thing. I don't want someone giving me a crazy compliment about, you know, your eyes are just so gorgeous. It's like, um, it's one thing to be like, you have nice eyes. But if someone like lays it on thick and they're like, I see the moon in your eyes or whatever, you're like, ah. 